Рады видеть вас на большом хоккее. We're, we're Хочется в первую очередь подарить наше, наше издание пилотное. We like pilot что, du, что думает о Харламе, насколько его в Северной Америке помнят до сих пор? He was perhaps uh, one of the most dynamic players that I have seen in the game of hockey. Uh, he was, uh, along with, uh, for me, uh, uh, Yakushev, perhaps the, the two finest Russian players that I had the opportunity to play against, uh, as far as forwards were concerned. Of course, uh, some of the defensemen were great, but. Uh, The two forwards that I remember most out of that series was uh, Harlamov because of his speed and his tenacity and, and Yakushev, uh, the way he handled the puck and the way he skated. Насколько интересна вот награда Харламов Трофи, когда определяют Хар Трофи, но для русских и удивлен ли, что он в этом году последним стал именно Артемий Панарин? Uh, so if we compare the uh, Harlamov Trophy, it's sort of the equivalent of the uh, Hart Ross Trophy in the NHL. Uh, how surprising would it be for you that Panarin won it amongst all the Russian players? Well, uh, Panarin had a great year this year, so I think that uh, it's always nice to recognize some of the younger players. Uh, Uh, we always have a tendency to always uh, look at some of the older players and, and you know, always, uh, uh, it, it, like, f for me, it's always nice to say, okay, uh, uh, let's move on, you know. I mean, Ovechkin is, is a great player. I mean, uh, he's, a, he's a dominant force every time he steps on the ice. Uh, and, uh, but what Panarin did this year was, uh, It was pretty special also in, uh, in, in Chicago. Что вы думаете о Кубке мира, насколько вам понравился этот турнир? What did you think about the World Cup of Hockey and how much did you like that? Был ли там такой накал, как Super Series 72? Did it have the same level of intensity as the 1972 series? Well, it didn't have, no, because the, the 72 series was an eight game series and it was a different time and a different place and And there was ne you, you, you could never ever duplicate that. Uh, even in '76, the very first Canada Cup, it was basically a one and done tournament, and uh, uh, that that was a very special event. And uh, well, like I said, it was you cannot duplicate that again. Uh, this Canada Cup was uh, was was an interesting format because uh, you had two extra teams, one the North American team, which was a very exciting young team, but then Team Europe, where everybody said, well, secondary players as far as uh, some of the players, uh, uh, some of the organizations didn't, or some of the national teams didn't take them. And then of course you had some of the other players that uh, represented their countries, uh, uh, You know, which don't have enough good players to play into a, a, a real format tournament, I guess. Uh, but it, it was very interesting. Uh, I thought the play last night was terrific. Uh, great play, and of course, uh, to me, uh, the big difference has always been, the last four years, has been Carey Price. Mm -hmm. Carey Price has mm -hmm. been, to me, the best hockey player uh, at the National Hockey League level. He won the MVP two years ago. And then, of course, last year, when he got hurt, they were in first place, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. had the best record. And after 13 or 14 games, uh, Montreal had the worst record after that. So he should have won the MVP anyways, <laughs> by being hurt. We were surprised, because Wayne Gretzky told us that Sidney Crosby is the best. What do you think about We are somewhat surprised because Wayne Gretzky told us that he thinks that uh, Sidney Crosby is the best. Well, Sidney Crosby, I mean, we, we tend not to uh, uh, look at goaltenders. Uh, at, 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 we, we, we look at goaltenders in a different light. Uh, and uh, consequently, uh, but you know, don't forget, goaltenders play 60 minutes every game. They're, 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 they're the most important thing. There's no, there, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You take 
an average goaltender. He makes a great team good. But you take a great goaltender, he makes an average team great. That's what it is. Как играл Бобровский на Кубке мира, напомнили он молодого третика ему. Your impressions of the uh, play of Bobrovsky in the Russian net. Well, did he was did he played great. Did you remind you at all of Tretiak? Well, no, uh, uh, because I think uh, Tretiak uh, relied more on his quickness. Uh, I, I find Bobrovsky more of a North, North American type uh, goaltender where he's, he's out challenging more. Uh, and plays his angles more, and as you know, if, if he stays healthy, he's a very, very. Uh, he, he's he's an elite goaltender when he's healthy. His problem is he's had you know uh, groin injuries and hip injuries, and uh, if if your legs are no good, you're, it's very difficult to be a good goaltender. But when he's healthy, he's he's uh, an elite goaltender. Видел ли он полуфинал России Канада? Был ли вообще шанс у России победить канадцев? Not sure if you had a chance to watch the Russia Canada semi-final game. And did you think that Russia had any chances of winning that game? I did not get to see it. I was uh, I was out uh, uh, watching uh, uh, some of the rookie tournaments that, uh, in the National Hockey League. Yes. Понятно. По два последних вопроса. Two last questions, please. Uh, сейчас говорят все, что сборная Канады доминирует как Dream Team в NBA, и надо ее разделить на две части, ее победить нельзя, она убивает интригу в хоккее международном. Так there, ли это? There has been talk about uh, Team Canada being sort of like the dream team in basketball right now, uh, where they beat everybody all the time, and there's been some talk about maybe splitting Team Canada into two to create more intrigue in an international tournament, to say have Team, uh, team Canada one and Team Canada two. Well, the, the, the thing being is that if they're so dominant, they should win 5 nothing, 6 nothing, 10 nothing. Last night, I mean, they're, they're down 1 nothing. they score a power play goal on a tip shot, and then all of a sudden uh, they score a shorthanded goal with, uh, two, uh, with 40 seconds to go. If you're, if you're a dream team and a, and, a, and a team that is so dominant, you're going to win 6, 7, 8, 15 nothing, or, you know, the thing is, again, like I say, I mean, here I go back to the goaltender. You score two goals. Generally, mm -hmm. you 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 win the game. You know, for 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 the Montreal Canadiens, Carey Price right now, they score two goals. The worst is they're going to go to overtime and get a point. That's that's mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, but. But uh, the Canadians right now, they, 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 they've played together more as a group, right? They play in the same league all the time. Now, when you take a look at uh, uh, the European teams now, you've got some players that are playing in Europe, national teams, and then you've got some players playing in the National Hockey League. That, and, and that's what, what made 1972 so interesting. We had all these players that were all stars playing against each other all the time, playing against a great team that played yeah. Yeah. played in world championships together, yes. Olympics together for three, four, five years. Probably some of these guys played together since they were 10, 12, 14 years old, right? Some, yeah. And, and that's what made them a great team. We were just a bunch of all stars put together supposed to be the best but we got taught a lesson и и поэтому наверное 44 года спустя невозможно новая суперсерия в каком-нибудь формате там против россии против сборной европы чтобы всех собрать and that is sort of exactly why it is probably impossible to recreate that same thing 44 years later to have a kind of series against the european you, first of all you can't side. do it the, uh, the, I mean, you, like I say, you've got, you've got your best players, a lot of your best players playing here, right? In, in the National Hockey League right now. So it's very difficult to do. Uh, and to create, uh, to create it, it was once in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important. Yes, it not out. only, uh, my understanding, not only to Canadian hockey and, and, to, and, and the Canadian culture, but also to the Rus Russian culture. Even though uh, nobody lost that tournament. I mean, yes, we won four games, uh, lost three, tied one, but nobody lost that tournament. Everybody won. 
And the very last short question. Кто-то сейчас напоминает ему Валерия Харламова по игре? Может, даже среди иностранных, не обязательно русский. По технике, по... Может, даже среди иностранных. Patrick King. Patrick. Thank you. Thank you.